Yes, yesterday Eva asked me this question and now you asked me the same question about the root chakra, Muladhar chakra. Muladhar, which means the very basic chakra, the root, base of the root, Muladhar, base of the root. So it's the most important chakra for the beginners of uh, yoga because the energy, the vital energy it, it moves from here to the Sahastrara chakra the topmost chakra now when we search internet we talk to many people about chakras and everybody tries to speak with whatever limited, unlimited knowledge they have. Interesting thing about Muladhar Chakra, opening the Muladhar Chakra, opening the root chakra or uh, awakening the root chakra, these two are different things. We must understand the nature of Muladhar Chakra. As you know very well that the Muladhar Chakra is between the genitals and the anus here. So two fingers from the anus and two fingers from the genital when you, the, the, the point, the center is Muladhar Chakra. In general when you sit down the, the very point that touches the ground is Muladhar Chakra that is closest to the ground. <coughs> so this Muladhar Chakra is also we can call it as a pelvic plexus in English. Now it has a structure as I told you, the places between the anus and the genitals. Now, what it, the, the, the nature, the structure of the, this Muladhar Chakra is like a lotus with four petals. And it's a red colored uh, uh, lotus. This is the red colored lotus with four petals. And each petal, on each petal, the letters are written which are one shan shan sang. These four letters are written. Now, each letter has a meaning. I will explain you whenever we get a chance to talk on that again. This Muladhar Chakra, the root chakra, is the place of earth attribute, the Prithvi Tattva. So, the, the earth aspect of existence is represented or this chakra represents this earth aspect of existence and the tattva beej, the bija mantra for this chakra is lam. And what is the another attribute that is associated with this chakra we must know is Gandha, the smell. So this chakra is associated with smell. And uh, the direction of this chakra is like an elephant moving forward. Airavat. Airavat is the elephant of Lord Indra. So Airavat is moving forward. So that's the, you know, that's the direction or that's the speed with which this chakra moves. And as I have discussed or I have told you earlier that there are five types of vayus. Prana, apana, vyana, udhana, samana. Prana, apana, vyana, apana, samana, udhana cha. Prana, apana, vyana, samana, udhana cha. Prana, apana, vyana, samana, udhana. These are the five different volumes, types of air 
and this Muladhar chakra, the root chakra, represents the is the place of Apanavayu. So Apanavayu resides here in the Muladhar chakra. So we have seen the nature of uh, the, the, the shape of the chakra which is like a four petal lotus then the different letters written on it the color of it which is red the exact position of it then the sense which is associated with the sense of smelling gandh the elements, the five elements which are of which the element of earth is represented by Muladhar Chakra. So the element of earth and Lord Brahma with Dakini is residing here. So the, the residing God or the god in charge of this place is Brahma with Dakini and the yantra associated with this chakra is a, a square, a golden colored square. So these are the details which are normally not known to many of the yoga exponents or yoga experts and people try to simplify things that you know you sit and this chakra you open the chakra and as uh, I was telling you yesterday I saw one of the online tests also about how to open the chakra and they have asked some questions so one must understand that pe these things cannot be simplified in such a way that you lose the essence you just, you know, in, in, in your effort to make it simple, you are basically taking away the very core knowledge which has to be passed on and which has to be experienced, which has to be gained through this exercise and experience. So we must know the nature of the chakra, how, uh, how I mean the process to open it, to awaken it. Now how do we awaken this chakra? So this chakra is to be awakened through various methods. More importantly, each chakra is associated with different attributes. For example, if I meditate on, I the sense, when we meditate on Muladhara chakra, the root chakra, then what we achieve from it is first, the first thing which we achieve from it is uh, health. So meditating on Muladhara Chakra, meditating on Root Chakra makes you healthy. Secondly, it keeps you happy. Meditating on Root Chakra keeps you happy. It gives you extraordinary imaginary powers to make you a poet, to make you a uh, writer so you become a creative person when you uh, meditate on root chakra now the way to meditate the way to awaken the root chakra is you sit in a padmasan position with cross legs and uh, the place should be quiet. The month of Kartik is normally considered as a good period for meditation, starting the meditation. So we are in we are in a right period actually. The month of November is a good good period, and it starts and it goes on till Falun. That that will be like March. So a period from.